speaking of Steve Austin, so you get into the WWF early 97. Um, were you the type of guy who, well, let's say you're on the road already, you're in the locker room, are you the type of guy who would go to one of the more established stars like Undertaker or Brett or Sean or later on Steve and ask advice? Or were you not like an advice asker kind of guy and you just sort of collaborated when you wrestled them? I always went to them and asked, hey, what do you want to do? Because if if I could get an idea of what they wanted to do, then I knew what kind of counters I could do and what I was doing. Because I, I wouldn't know what to do, how to even begin to set up a pro wrestling match at that level. So they had to set it up and then I had to, whatever they were going to do, whatever my spots were from there was to tell them what I was going to do from there. Uh, and then they just would have to trust me, which came, you know, probably about maybe uh, six months in, I think people started to understand, you know, it's okay. I'm going to get you in things you don't understand. I'm not going to hurt you. Of uh, the established stars I've named and maybe a couple of extra that you want to mention, uh, who, let's say, who was the best at putting a match together? Uh, yeah, you know, um, I was with Shawn Michaels. I was with The Undertaker, Stone Cold, Bret Hart. I mean, all those guys. And, you know, The Rock. I uh, was with The Rock. And he's, as young as we were putting matches together, uh, it was great, right? But I'm telling you, it's it's not about who was better because it was just different types of styles that, you know, Shawn was much different than Stone Cold, you know? Uh, Undertake was much different than both of them, right? So it was just about really having an understanding of how they were putting those matches together and what I could do with them. So that's really what the challenge was because it, uh, but all those guys were great. I mean, like they were mega stars. So it was more about me being able to match with their styles, being able to counter their styles. Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy the process of putting a match together? Because it's almost like putting a jigsaw piece together, but you can do it any way you want sort of thing. It was fun because like with The Undertaker, we weren't going to be rolling on the ground, like in and out of holds and false finishes. And it was going to be more methodical, you know. So I remember even with him where he was going to choke slam. He goes, what can you do, you know, if I go to do that? And I said, I'll just arm bar you. And he's like, a good idea. Like, because he understood MMA. I was like, I can arm bar you. you. Just go up, give me a choke slam. I'll arm bar you. And, uh, and so that was the first time that was ever done uh, into an arm bar from a choke slam. And, so, you know, just stuff like that. Same with Stone Cold where he would get in stuff. He says, hey, what can you do from here? Um, and so I would say, well, I could do a, a sunset flip into an ankle lock. He's like, how do you do that? Like, how do you go from there to there? And I was like, and so I just said, I, mo you know, like with most of them, I said, I'll, I don't worry about it. You just get there and I will get where I need to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we did. And they have matches with those guys, as you've seen those matches, they were all good. Um, and it was really not, with them really not understanding where I was going to go from those moves, but just trusting that I would get there. 